Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to go back to my homeland of Scotland and we're going to go to Ellen in Aberdeenshire which many of you might know happens to be home to Brewdog but this is quite an interesting beer for me. This is probably my favourite series of beers from Brewdog but this one is only available in Sweden so this is me kind of completing the circuit if you like when it comes to the Hello My Name Is series. So we're going to have a taste of Hello My Name Is Ingrid today which was first brewed back in 20. 11 incidentally and this one is the Cloudberry Double IPA which comes in at 8.2%. It's rated 97 overall on rate beer and 90 within the style so it should be a good one. I've tried the Hello My Name is Meta Marie, I've tried Paivi as well, Sonia, uh, also the Konichi Wakitsune, Little Ingrid, also the uh, Holy Moose as well. Mostly these beers were double IPAs with some fruit added to them with usually cloudberries, blueberries and things like that. But more recently, the more recent ones have been single IPAs which have been quite interesting. They've turned out a bit more tart actually so should be really interesting to try this one and see how we get on because I always thought they were a bit stronger uh, or a bit, a bit better actually when they were the stronger double IPAs. But we'll see how we get on with this one and I've heard it is pretty good. So really looking forward to this. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other reviews that I've done from Brewdog there's about a hundred or so of them so make sure you check them out there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do subscribe to the channel if you go into the channel homepage you can search for beer based on country city or state it's a whole geography based tagging system so do check that out there's also the playlists of beers from different countries make sure you check out my whiskey and sake reviews and the interviews and other stuff on the channel and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries you guys would like to see me review always interesting to hear from you guys and your support is hugely appreciated so anyway to tell you a little bit about Brewdog so Brewdog were founded back in 2007 by two guys James Watt and Martin Dickey and their first brewery was in the Keswick Industrial Estate in Fraserburgh in the very northeast corner of Scotland right on the tip of the monster's nose as I always like to say because of course Scotland is shaped a bit like a monster's head but more recently I believe it was 2012 they moved down to their new very shiny and purpose built facility in Ellen which is closer to the city of Aberdeen where I used to study chemistry. It's supposed to be a very nice facility actually, I do need to go and visit it sometime. But these guys are known to be a very experimental craft brewery, largely inspired by the American craft brewing renaissance of course. They often cite Stone Brewing Company as one of their main influences and they say that they are primarily an IPA brewery, although personally I would argue that some of their dark beers are very strong. Two of my favourite beers from Brewdog of course are Dogma and Riptide, although I really do enjoy Hardcore IPA and the Jackhammer too, so they're very solid overall I think it's fair to say. And um, They've got a chain of brew pubs, now these started opening in 2010 with the first one in Aberdeen, I was there on the opening night for that of course, although I don't remember so much of it, but they've spread throughout Scotland since then down into England and they're now as far afield as Tokyo and Sao Paulo in Brazil of course and they're looking to expand further in North America and Australia and New Zealand things too so some really interesting times to come ahead from Brewdog in that regard but what's really interesting about these guys is their business model they have this equity for punk scheme where fans of the brewery can buy shares and really the brewery is crowdfunded they've done this maybe five or six times and they're now working to build their second brewery over in America in Columbus Ohio which is going to open in March 2017 if I'm not mistaken and they've also uh, installed a distillery in the facility at Ellen too so there's some gins already been released under the name Lone Wolf Distillery and we're going to have to wait a couple of years for the whiskey to come out as well so very interesting times for Brewdog another interesting bit of trivia about these guys is that they've held the title of world's strongest beer on three separate occasions so they're a very interesting brewery and they're the largest independently owned Scottish craft brewery these days and it's probably fair to say that Brewdog are probably the most easily available Scottish craft beer so if you want to try some Scottish beers then Brewdog are probably the place to go. As I say I personally recommend the Hardcore IPA, the Jackhammer or the, the Dogma or the Riptide if you do want to go for the darker things but a lot of the beers are very good just pick a style you like and I'm pretty sure you will quite enjoy that. So anyway that's enough about Brewdog just now you can check out all the different series of beers that they have on the website of course but as I always like to do with the Brewdog beers I'll just read out the blurb on this one to you. So we'll go on to the tasting section now. So hello my name is Ingrid. So just who is Ingrid? Perhaps she's a reference to the Swedish silver screen icon or maybe it's the, the line seemingly spoken by every other Swedish actress in films from the 60s and 70s. We still know you're the ones we're talking about. One thing is certain this Swedish inspired 
higher double IPA is not as instant as she at first appears. Rich malts, Columbus Centennial, Nelson Sovine and Brandley Cross Hops and Scandinavian Cloudberries combine to deliver a tart finish, a warming alcohol hit and a huge fruity aroma. Hello my name is Ingrid, it's a celebration of all that is great about Sweden. Say hey. So yeah, really quite cool beer this one. So I'll just give you the specs of this beer before we open it up. So as I mentioned to you, this guy is an 8.2% double IPA. It's hopped with Columbus Centennial, Bramlings Cross, First Gold, Nelson Sovine and Simcoe hops with a malt base of Maris Otter, Extra Pale and Caramel. And it was originally a single brew release for the Swedish market back in 2011. I'm guessing that is probably when they actually got their System Belaget contract initially and it was probably a kind of exclusive brew to celebrate that but it actually won the rebrew dog vote in summer 2016 as well so i'm guessing that's why they've brought it back but as far as i know it still is an exclusive to the swedish market so those of you watching back home in scotland won't be able to try this one unfortunately so yeah it should be quite cool to try this so let's get it out and we'll get on with the tasting then really looking forward to trying this one here so yeah we'll pop this guy open and see how we go and i'll just let you have a quick look at the artwork actually i'll just bring up the camera to make sure you're seeing that this is the typical brew dog artwork, of course the new style, the old style label was uh, blue and yellow whereas this one's more a kind of blue and silver colour but you can see usual brew dog bottle cap on this one and the standard brew dog artwork on there so 8.2% double IPA like I said uh, 97 overall on rate beer and 90 within the style so it should be really nice and I'm looking forward to trying this so well, you can smell the cloudberries from this as you open it up you have that really nice Thing. It always reminds me of the Copperberg ciders actually. So yeah, we'll leave it like that for just now and then we'll put the rest in a wee bit later on. So as you can see, this beer has poured a really lovely kind of bright orangey amber colour. I'll just hold it over there so you can see that a little bit better. It's a kind of coppery amber colour. If I put my fingers behind it, you can see there is a degree of transparency to this beer. Those cloudberries really are quite noticeable in this one. You've got a half finger of a frothy white head on this one. It's just fading away to be a very thin foamy layer, some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of that head but it looks very nice so let's take a closer look at the aroma on this one and it should be really nice. Oh yeah, no, when you smell this beer right away you can pick up these cloudberry notes. If you know the Copperberg ciders you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a very kind of distinct sort of smooth berry aroma that you get from these cloudberries right away so we'll sugar it up and see what else we can get out of it. That's quite interesting the notes on this one it's actually got quite a bit of dark floral aromaticity almost a little bit herbal actually a little bit of a herbal note coming out of this one you can pick up a bit of the pine resin in there too but that's quite subtle it's mainly a sort of darker floral aromaticity with that sort of that kind of herbal character that I was talking about. You can smell a little bit of the, the, the grapefruity notes coming out in this one. You can smell a little bit of that, but it's got a lot of kind of juicy or tropical fruit. That'll be from the Nelson Sauvine. It's almost got that kind of green grapey thing. That kind of gooseberry green grapey thing that you normally get with the Nelson Sauvine. It's a really interesting hop that. It's very difficult for brewers to get their hands on it these days, and you've got to brew quite a lot of beer using it to actually get any. That's a big, a big challenge for craft brewers, because Nelson Sauvine is a really highly demanded hop or a hop that's in high demand I should say. But it smells lovely this guy. You can smell a bit of the bready malt base in there too. Yeah, definitely a bit of bready malt base in there. Some sweet caramel, some sort of biscuity note in there too. That English malt gives you a sort of grainy bready character for this one. The Maris Otter of course. You can really pick that out in this beer. Yeah. It's really interesting, you don't, when you sugar the beer up you don't get as much of the cloudberries, it's when it's left to settle that you start to get these cloudberry notes from the beer. But it smells really interesting. So let's dive into this guy and see how we get on. As I always say, let's just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you get stuck into it. That's always a good thing to do because you get a lot, it's, that's half the experience when it comes to tasting things like beers and whiskies. So yeah, just enjoy this a little bit before you get stuck in, but we'll try this beer now. So this is the Hello My Name is Ingrid from Brewdog in Ellen, Aberdeenshire, Scotland, an exclusive to the Swedish beer market. Slange Skål. That's nice. That is quite nice. From what I remember of the other ones, this one 
is a little bit less caramelly. It's got a little bit less boozy character than the other ones did. And that's maybe just the way the cloudberries come across in this. And it's not, when I tried the Little Ingrid, the Little Ingrid was considerably more tart. And that's probably just because it would have less malt content than this one does. The Hello My Name is Little Ingrid came across as uh, it really is more of a kind of sour IPA than anything else. But this is really nice. The cloudberries really come out in the aftertaste in this one. I always enjoy this series of beers from Brewdog, so maybe I'm a bit biased when I review these ones because I, I always know what to expect. I love these kind of double IPAs with the fruit that they do. But yeah, th this is interesting because you can detect a little bit of the fruity character from the hops that you would expect in this one. There's a little bit of the grapefruit, but the passion fruit is there. And the Nelson Sovine, I think, is coming out quite nicely. There's a bit of that gooseberry character, a little bit of the sort of green grapey thing. You can feel the passion fruit in there as well. And there's a teeny, teeny bit of the grapefruit that you would expect. From the other hand, the Simcoe, of course, is the one that's going to give you the passion fruit. And the Columbus will give you the sort of uh, the grapefruity characters. Maybe a bit of the Centennial will as well. But the, the Nelson Sovina thing, that is, is kind of dominating the flavour of it and that goes really well with the cloud breeze. When you ever, whenever you add fruit to a beer, you always get those fruity characters around the edge of the tongue. It always just feels a little bit juicier around the edge of the tongue in comparison to if you're actually getting these fruit flavours from the, the oils and the hops. But this beer blends together really well. That's what I'm really getting from this one, is how the Nelson Sovine flavours are mixing with the cloud breeze. Um, they're saying that it's tart on the label. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. For me, it's more juicy. I'm not really getting a, a tart character from this one, really. There's maybe a tiny, a, a, a tiny wee bit of tartness just as the beer as you make that transition into the aftertaste but overall I'd say this beer is more juicy than anything I think it's fair to say that in the middle of your palate it's kind of blanketed with this bready character that's the English malts coming out in this one on top of that you can feel a little bit of the biscuity sweetness there is a little bit of that grainy character in there it comes across as more biscuity and you've got the richer caramel right in the middle of the palate too um, at the back corners of the palate, there's not too much going on in the way of the hops, but as you come further forward, you can feel it becoming a little bit more floral and a bit grassy. Around the front curve of the tongue, when you move into the aftertaste, it becomes a little bit more grassy, and the cloudberries just move back on the palate a little bit, but you can feel that kind of juicy cloudberry character coming across in this one. This is very, very different to the Hello My Name is Little Ingrid. This, that one came across as a sour IPA, like I said. This one is more like the others in the series. It's more like Taivi or Mette Marie or something like that. So it's a really quite different beer, this one. It's, it's interesting to see that they've experimented with those sour beers a little bit, the Holy Moose and the Little Ingrid. But this one is, for me, it's back to, to, the, to what made the series really strong in the first place. This is what I like about this one. So I would say to Brewdog, if you're going to do the Hello My Name Is series, stick to the double IPAs, because they are, they, I have to admit, there are, the, the other one, the single IPAs were, were, were quite good, but these are considerably better than those, I would say. But for me, this is really nice. As I say, the flavour is dominated by the, the elements from the Nelson Sovine, in my opinion. You get a little bit of the Simcoe, the sort of passion fruit as well, but then the juicy cloudberry flavours come out in this one, really, really nice. It's, it reminds me, like I say, if you like the sort of copper bear cloudberry cider that you can get, then you will enjoy this one, I'm sure. So in terms of the mouthfeel of this guy, I would say it's mid-bodied. It's got a little bit of oily character. The carbonation for me is coming across as a little bit crisp, actually. You're getting a good bit of sweetness from the malt base. There is a little bit of dryness, too, from the, the spicy character. And then... The hops are a little bit smooth, but you get that dryness in there as well. Good bit of sweetness from the malty character, but there's a lot of fruity juiciness in this one. And it's not kind of um, big and oily in the fruity character as some of the other ones can be. This one's a little bit more juicy because of the cloudberries. And like I was saying, it's that sort of white grape kind of, um, that white grape sort of, um, 
the, clout, the, the gooseberry character that comes out of this one, those nice Nelson Sauvignon flavours. So yeah, this one is a really good beer. This is going back to what made me really enjoy the Hello My Name Is series originally. The nice big double IPAs with just that sort of subtle juicy fruit catch on the end. This is another really quite solid beer from Brewdog. Would I drink this again? Definitely. I do think it's a shame that it's not that widely available and that it is only brewed every so often because it really is pretty good beer so it would be cool to see with Brewdog having expanding capacity and stuff it would be cool to see this one brewed more regularly and put available here in Sweden but those watching outside of Sweden of course it would be cool if you guys could enjoy it as well but yeah another very solid beer from Brewdog kind of what you'd expect from them to be honest but I've really enjoyed reviewing this one and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video as well. So yeah, thank you for watching my beer reviews. As always, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Do check out all my social media as well. Let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer and your favourite beers from Brewdog, of course. Always interesting to hear from you guys. And uh, do let me know some other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. If you can get your hands on this one, if you're over in Sweden, do have a go of it because it is really quite nice. So until the next time, it's landed just now and I will catch you soon with more beer reviews. The Hello My Name is Ingrid from Brewdog in Ellen Aberdeen, Scotland. Hello My Name is, it's probably my favourite series from Brewdog actually. Until the next time, it's landed just now, grab this beer if you can. Cheers.